All right, so we're making some real progress now with this model. And it's kind of coming to uh, an end, really. Um, but you can see now I've got all of the walls as, as one solid piece. Uh, and obviously all of my um, windows are all individual um, and doors and everything, uh, which is great, really. If I look at my reference image, um, I need to kind of build this decking at the front here. Uh, the main thing I need to, to add now is the roof. Uh, which has all these sort of beams running all over it. Uh, so we'll look at doing that now, and then we'll we'll focus on the little decking of bits and pieces, uh, sort of finishing touches, I suppose. Um, we're not going to worry about you know, trees and all that kind of business um, within this series of videos. You know, um, that's that's another whole thing. We're just focusing on the architectural modelling for now. So here we go, let's have a look at the roof. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back over to my top view, which I haven't done for a while. Um, and we can still see our plans, our planning drawing. Uh, and you can see on the planning drawing that it has these kind of dotted lines around here. That is where the roof uh, extends to, because obviously your roof uh, extends further out than the walls. Um, and then obviously I've got this overlapping bit here where this side of the, the sloped roofs, uh, you see it kind of overhangs over the roof on this side. Okay, so hopefully it's all pretty clear where they where the roofs go. So I'm going to create them out of a new object. So I'm going to get my uh, box uh, starting on the left hand side. So I'm going to go from that corner of the roof and it's going to extend over. It doesn't go to there. That's where the other side of the roof extends to. This one goes to there, comes down here to about there. Okay, obviously I don't know about height at the moment, so just, just don't worry too much about that. Come back to our perspective view now that we've built that in its rightful place, and bring up here. Obviously, first things first, that's way too chunky. So I'm gonna come over to here and dial that height right down. And I just want, you know, there's two sort of sections to the roof there from what I can see, and then the beams underneath that. Right, so once you're happy with the size, we can convert to an editable poly, and change that color just to match the rest of my model. Um, I'm gonna go to polygon, gonna get the underside of this, and I'm just going to uh, do an, we have an inset, and extrude down. Uh, sorry, this reference image isn't isn't you know it's quite small. I need to keep zooming in, but it's got like that grey sort of top, and then the white section, and then the beams. So I've got this. That will be like the grey section. This will be the white section, and then the beams underneath this. So I need to go to edge mode, and I get that edge and that edge down there, and I'm going to use connect. Uh, you can use the settings box, and you can probably already guess what I'm going to do. If I crank up all of these edges to a much higher number, it's going to give me the detailing in terms of edges and polygons that I need to extrude down those those beams. Okay, so again, I'm not going to count them. I'm not going to be that pedantic about it by the reference image. Um, you know, again, if you had more specific uh, instructions and, and drawings from like an architect or something, then you may well need to do that. But uh, in this instance, we're just doing a model from, you know, from what, what could be, you know, this could be like a sketch, um, you know, a, 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 just a concept. And that's the idea for now. So let's see, um, it's quite a lot. Those beams are kind of thin. So I'm gonna go with something like that. Now I need the number of connections to be a, an even number um, because if I tick to apply that, it's polygon. I don't want the end one because from the reference image, it doesn't quite go to the end really. Um, but anyway, so I want every other other polygon here. There you go. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm maybe going to do a tiny little inset. And then I'm actually going to bevel. So they come down, not too far, maybe like that. 
and they're slightly tapered, which I'm blind, I'm going to bevel it. Kind of looks a bit like a Kit Kat. But there we go. They're the kind of the beams there. You see that? So I can get the whole model itself. Move it down. I'm going to go to my side view over here so that I'm going to rotate the roof. But I want it to be parallel to my walls. So I can use this view as a reference and then line that up. If I come over here, there we go. I know that the uh, no, those beams just just kind of intersect with the walls there, um, but my you know my understanding of this building anyway is that the beams will be visible from like the inside, kind of visible beams. So if I go into the building, you know you can see uh, the beams. Um, yeah, if you didn't want that to happen, then you wouldn't be able to do the connect across the whole entire thing. You'd perhaps need to build each beam uh, from, from like a separate box. And attach them on but that's kind of going to be dependent on what you're building um, for now i think this is fine um, if i come up in here i can see that you know my roof doesn't quite extend to that other wall actually so i'm just going to get the vertices all of them there come to this view here and sort of extend that out so that it intersects with that wall and this, this end of it there is just going to be buried inside these walls, so you'll never actually see it in any renderings. And then I just need to go a bit further. It's about there. Let's just make sure that that's not causing any issues on this side. No. As long as it comes doesn't start coming through this wall, <laughs> um, then that's absolutely fine. So that's that's that roof. And we're just going to repeat the process for um, this roof over here. So let's just quickly do it again. I'm going to get box into my top view. Go from this side this time. Down to there. Come back to my perspective. And let's just repeat that process. So reduce that height down, convert to an editable poly, do a little inset and extrude down, get my edges on both sides and get my connect tool again. Now this is going to need a lot more connections now because you know the roof is a lot longer. Um, I had 28 before. So yeah, obviously went to 28 now, it's they're not going to be right. So I just want to keep going until the width of these polygons are match uh, the ones I did over here. So probably going to be going into the 50s maybe, 50. Let's have a look in my top view. I'm going to change that to wireframe. I mean, again, it doesn't need to be dead on perfect. I think 50 is fine. Right, I'm going to select every single one. Bit of a pain, but this is still a much more efficient process than doing all these beams, you know, individually or something. There we go. And same process, so yeah, let's just do a tiny little inset and bevel these down. If you're not quite happy with it, we'll just undo. Try again. There we are. Let's make this the same colour. I always like to make things the same colour so I can kind of, it helps me gauge how things are looking a bit better. Some people like to have things different colors whilst you're all, you know, whilst you're building before you add your textures. Let's build this down, let's rotate that. Move it down into place. Okay. I think that looks about right. Yeah. 
yeah okay quite quite happy with that i think that looks about right um obviously again on the reference image um we have these beams which kind of go uh horizontally there's three on each side so those really you are going to have to build from a separate box so again that's just just going to be a case of um you know making it it's not making a box positioning it and then sort of adding in the the detailing of what it's going to look like um, i can see that that's kind of got a bit of a chamfered edge on it on it there so if i converted that to an editable poly um, let me get the size right first So now if I get just get this edge there, I can use a uh, chamfer to create that sort of detailing. And then it'll just be a case of moving it into position really. And obviously it's way too long, so uh, put it down there well probably you know what you could do is just have its symmetry so it's the same on both sides um, I'm not too worried about it being dead on so I'm just going to get this edge and just chamfer that side as well okay and if I made that uh, same color it should hopefully look about right okay and then that kind of needs to be in the right position Hopefully you get the idea. Yeah, sorry this has been kind of a long video, but at least you get the whole process. There we go. That seems about fine. Okay, and obviously, you know, then I can just literally just copy and paste that another um, five times. <laughs> into position for the rest of them. Okay, so in the last video, well, last video for modeling anyway, uh, we'll do the last bits and pieces, okay?